How come my name's Kenneth Ramos? I'm the Gaino Indian from the Brona Indian Reservation. Um, well, I want them to understand, you know, that that LA has a thriving Native community and um, understand that, you know, Natives were not a thing of the past so often in American society, American Indians get pushed, Natives get pushed to the back, like, you know, that we don't even exist anymore, that we are not contemporary, but we are, we're here, and we're even here in these huge urban metropolises like LA, and there's a whole reason behind that and history behind that, and I think that's important for everyone else who doesn't know about that to understand that, because you know, we're the original people of this land, we're the indigenous people of this country, and people need to recognize that and respect that and respect that history and learn from that history because there's something in it for everybody. Whether you're Native or not, there's something you can really take from it. And I think it's important for Angelinos to, to do that as well, to come and realize, you know, we have a huge Native population here and, you know, today, yeah. Like, I think it's great right now. We have drumming right here. There's Indian Alley. We're right here at the old UAII. Like, there's so much history and stories right here and so much culture just being captured, I think. It's a great opportunity for Angelinos to come and, you know, really experience it. You see all kinds of um, portrayals of natives in the media, usually like, you know, savages, barbarians, kept in the past. It's not a contemporary, um, a contemporary showing of what we are like today. And so oftentimes people just don't even know what to expect. When I first got to college and I would tell people I'm from a reservation, people were like, oh, do you live in a teepee? Or like, you know, there's those kind of like weird stereotypes are around and haunting us today and a lot of it is perpetuated by the media. My name is Feirus Tashin Gladys Dekam and I'm Oglala Lakota from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. I want people to understand that American Indians aren't walking around in headdresses, they don't have tomahawks, they're not mythical beings, that we are here and now and we're in LA, we're walking down a street, we're your neighbors, we're that person, we're cashiers, we're waitresses, we're business people, we're professionals. And it's time that society looks at us as such and more than just some like dehumanized icon. Hello, my name is Spencer Batiste, and I'm a member of the Seminole Tribe of Florida, and I'm half Choctaw. I want Angelinos to know that Native American people are here. I want us to be recognized, you know, more. But with this particular project, I and the history of Indian Alley and the history of the natives who came here in the 50s, you know, it should be recognized in a bigger level, in a bigger state level of, of, of knowing that there's definitely a huge community here that needs to be recognized and, uh, and respected. And I, I know projects like this really remind uh, Angelinos that there are natives here in California. There are a lot of things that Native American people are doing to try to dim the light of stereotypes about us and our people. And when you look at an event like today or learn the history of Los Angeles Native Americans, that takes a big chunk of what the stereotype that we have held on us away. More events need to be shown in urban areas like this to dispel the negativity um, and stereotypes that are put on us as Native American people. So I'm just so happy that uh, Pamela puts on an event like this and it only helps to um, show us Native Americans in a light that needs to be shown, in a brighter light, um, that we are real people, we're here, we're modern as well, but we know our culture and our history and we're not those stereotypes that modern day society puts on us. Come see this because it's art about Native people, for Native people, and by Native people.